Minister, I guess no one is going to argue with names like Mandela, De Klerk, um, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Those are Nobel Peace Prize laureates. But the question is, aren't we rewarding people who have really been rewarded? And that's not to <laughs> take away from, from yeah. the good that they have done. But are we not rewarding people who have really been rewarded? Well, I see this really as one of the main initiatives. Uh, I mean, what is particularly exciting is that this was not a government program. In fact, it was initiated by a group of South Africans, a guy called uh, Adrian Stein, who's a photographer, he was busy taking photographs and doing portraits of what he regards as icon, invited other people, uh, Swati Lamin and others. And they approached me and said, to know we are doing this. And I said, well, it's good because for me, uh, it fits well with what we are doing in terms of promoting social cohesion, nation building. In a sense, you could say this is a beginning of a process uh, that this project has 21 uh, icons that are going to be flighted every Sunday until December. But communities can come with other initiatives. Uh, you are quite right. There are a lot of people we regard as, I may say, unsung heroes. Uh, we need to begin to identify them and bring them on board. And this is not going to be just a, a once-off thing. Uh, we want to ensure that even next year, we identify more. How are you going to make sure that, indeed, we go to those places, mm. uh, bring out those people, um, and parade them in front of South Africans so that they can recognize the great work that those people are doing? I think once you take the conversations down there and, and really take out the message to communities that they should identify their heroes. I think that's how we're going to get names that maybe we never thought of. Uh, so it's not really just government driven. It's government partnering with communities. But of course, no one can argue that, you know, it's good to start with Mandela to do and so on. But yeah, there's more coming. What about those you're going to omit? that some South Africans may think deserve to be in the 21 that you're going to be starting with? This is an initiative of a group of South Africans. Uh, it's not really a Paul Mashadile decision that these are the 21 icons. My approach is that let this be not the only way. For instance, you know, every year the president uh, uh, give national orders oh, to deserving South Africans, international people, etc. So these 21 icons really come as one of the initiatives. Um, I don't think anybody will be excluded as we go into the future. We have to start somewhere. Let me tell you one other reason why I'm, I'm, I'm asking that question. It was a few years ago yeah. when something similar, if it's not this one, happened. There, were, there was a lot of controversy around mm. some of the names. The name of Fervut, for example, mm. was up there uh, uh, among the, the top names. And a lot of South Africans were outraged. And that was partly because the way the people were involved in the project went about getting the names or getting people to nominate names was biased towards the haves. Um, and uh, people in rural areas uh, who didn't have access to telephones and all the technology that they were using mm. did not get to nominate the people that they thought deserved. As a result, there was a lot of controversy and it defeated the purpose of the whole exercise back then. Yeah, I, I, I guess we need to look into how inclusive the process is. Uh, this is just the beginning. Uh, this project has identified 21. This is the beginning. If somebody feels, well, somebody should have been in the first group, we will then include them in the second group. You can have your say. What's your definition of an icon and who is your icon? Tell us what you think on Twitter. Our handle at SABC News Online. Use the hashtag icon and we will share your tweets during the bulletin.